Hello everyone. In today's demo, I will show you that uh, how offset works in UiPath, right? So basically, so well, just like uh, I will have just created one image over here. So if you, if you will see here, center point we consider origin or we can consider it as zero as well. So let's suppose this is uh, the image. If I'll click here, this is my center point, right? And if I'll have to go down, then I will use Y axis. My it means it's a plus positive, right? And if I'll have to click here, that is minus X axis. So if I'll have to go up, that is minus Y axis. So the horizontal axis is called, this is the horizontal axis. The horizontal axis is called the X axis and the vertical axis is called the Y axis. And you can uh, consider it as zero or uh, origin, you can say that, right? So I will show you that how offset works and uh, in UI path. So I will go to the recording and uh, let's suppose this is an image. However, it is not image, but I'm considering it as an image, okay? So click on the recording and click on image. So this is the origin, right? This is a center point. And if I'll click here, you can see that this is a center point. I'm going, going to the this part and I will click here and I will save it. And I will set as a start node. And if I'll go to the property, then you can see the offset X is minus 60 because it was zero we are we were going like I have clicked here right so if you'll see this part this is minus so this is minus right so that is why it is minus 66 we moved our cursor uh, in left hand side right so that is that is the minus 66 is values there and we that this is vertical axis this is plus right and we according to this we have just clicked here right so left and down so left uh, left and down so according to this coordinate so the uh, offset x value is minus 66 and offset y value is 49 right so if i'll run it then you can see that it has clicked on this part Right, if I have to type something here, like I will use type into activity, and this is type into activity, I will type here something like hello world. And I will run it. So you can see that I have not given any selector to this value. This is uh, the selectors are uh, blank basically there is nothing I have mentioned so according to this uh, this value like uh, x axis or y axis so this is my center point so it has uh, according to the offset x and offset y it has clicked over here and uh, whatever the value I have typed in uh, in type into activity so it has just typed over there right so in this way offset work in uh, UI path so we can manually also arrange it so I will going to delete it. I'm just to use here like click activity. You can use click activity, right? You click or click image or click activity. So according to this image, I have to click over here, right? So let, let's suppose this is my window and this particular G, this particular part, the selectors keeps on changing. Basically, my first recommendation is to like go to this, uh, like uh, this UI Explorer and then uh, for whatever the values you are finding in the UI Explorer, just try to manipulate it and use variable and all these things then you can just find this selector, right? But uh, if you are facing challenges, like you are not able to click this particular uh, icon and uh, uh, you have to just manipulate, you are keeps on manipulating your UI Explorer, but you still you are not able to find the result. So you can use this activity, like you can just find any, uh, any image or any text value. You can just um, make it a, like a center point or you can create it as an origin according to the x axis and y axis you can click on this particular any particular element right relative reference also work but uh, i will show you this man how can you do it manually so you need some practice in order to do it first so if i'll click here so you can consider it is a my i have clicked over here so it is my according to this graph this is my zero value the oh this is the origin if i have to go here 
so what I will have to do it means we have to go right hand side so I will use this plus symbol and if I have to go to the up so I will use this y axis vertical and up this particular area we will use right so I can write here like uh, if I will go to the this cursor position just you can you need to just expand it and once you will expand it then you will see these options so let's assume I'm just right I will type here 500 and I will type here 200 uh, sorry because we are going up so that would be minus minus 200 and if I'll run it so you, you know that this is my anchor image so it has clicked over here right you need to just NL see observe this particular mouse click where it is clicking so it is clicked over here so we need to come here right so I can just give it like 180 I can minus 180 I can give and I will run it again okay, again it has clicked over there I can give like it to 140 and run it okay it is somewhere here I, it's clicked right now so I will give like 120 and I will run it now okay so I need to just uh, 490 I will give the value to the offset y x now I will run it let's see whether it will okay now the, we have just clicked on the gmail symbol right and in order to make it correct like I will do like uh, 485 485 sorry 485 right so you can you have to just keeps on changing these values once it will click on uh, clicking on the this part right okay I will run it now now I can see that it clicked on the this gmail icon so basically if you are just uh, doing any automation and if your selector keeps on changing so you can use this trick as well and basically if you are just doing the Citrix automation where the uh, text box and any button it is not visible so you can this you can just find any anchor position like which is visible and which, and which the, if the particular item is always there in the in this website or in the application so you can make it a anchor and according to that you can just click left right up and down right and you can use relative reference as well so in this particular example i just wanted to show you that how you can use manually these options as well so if you just practice it then uh, then definitely you would be able to do it right because I have done such kind of automation in few scenarios where I was facing challenges like where the image is not properly visible so I have just used this X and Y axis according to one particular image and uh, according to this I would be able to click anywhere in the my window application or image right I hope you would like this video thank you for watching have a nice day